So you're doing a research project. You want to find the answer to a question such as what is the most popular social media platform for 13 year olds? And immediately, of course, we all are going to go and Google it. But after Googling, what do you do? You have to figure out where your information is coming from and if it is reliable. So let me show you some things you can do to determine if your information is reliable and where, where it's coming from. Who is writing this information? Okay. What is the most popular social media platform for 13 year olds? Let's see what pops up. Okay, 16 apps and websites kids are heading to after Facebook. You're automatically gonna wanna click that link, right? But it's really important to pay attention to this green URL. This is called a URL. It's the long web address because this is going to tell you, okay, what website is this link going to take you to? So it's going to take you to a website called commonsensemedia.org. And so when I click on commonsensemedia.org, it takes me here and immediately I am impressed with the way the, the website is organized. It looks like someone is doing an amazing job making this website um, easy to navigate. Um, I don't see very many annoying advertisements popping up. Um, and, and I even see a little tab that says about us and look at all of the information here that you can learn about the people who are writing on commonsensemedia.org. Additionally, this is actually an article. This took me straight to an article. This is an article written by an author. To find out the author of the article, see, I know this website is reliable because they're very straightforward about who they are. And that is a good sign. So this article is written by Christine and Elgersma and, and then of course the navigation. So when you see that right off the bat, you know, the, the website is probably going to be pretty reliable because they're being so transparent about who they are. So let's go back and look at some other ones. So this one is coming from a website called statista.com. And so I'm going to go ahead and click it and check it out and see if it's pretty transparent like the last one. Okay, so I noticed there's a login button. So this is called the navigation menu. And the navigation menu is really, really important in websites. So if there's a login button, it means that this website is probably a paid subscription type of website. So people are paying to um, log in and be members of the website. Um, and I do not, I don't notice an about, but if I click our services, um, oh, here it is about us. So here are a few things about them. And so you'll notice prices and access. So this, this website is obviously trying to sell something. Does that mean it's not reliable? No, it doesn't mean it's not reliable. It just means their goal is to make money. Um, and so it's really important to know what is the goal of the website that you're getting your information from. Uh, and so, and you can also find out more about them by clicking about us. So let's go ahead and click why Statista. Okay. And then you can learn more about what this website is all about. It is definitely a sales website for sure because it's basically laying out what this this uh, app is and there's even a video here so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get I mean there's a nice graph here which is really awesome um, so and it looks like they're they have lots of clients big companies so that's telling me right there uh, if Google is their client and Google would ask them to take this down if they weren't a client, uh, you know, you can be pretty confident that this, that this data is accurate and, and 
you know, I teach sixth grade and Snapchat every class. It's it's the most popular. Uh, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. So this aligns with what I know. So you also want to think about, you know, what do you know? What makes sense in your mind? If you read something and it it sounds a little off, you know, it's probably off. So let's go to the next uh, few websites. Actually, so usually the top uh, websites that pop up after a search, they're the ones that are the most popular, the most clicked. And usually that means they're pretty, they have pretty reliable information. But you also need to remember that some websites like this Statista, they have a goal. They are advertising. They are trying to make money. Other websites, news websites, sometimes sensationalize things because they want of course, to make a revenue. They want to make money and they want their news channel or their news story to be the most popular out of all the other news channels. And, and so, you know, it's just, it's so important to keep these things in mind when you're searching for things on the internet.